Hey everyone, hope you have, are going to have a great day today. We're going to read a book today called Know It All Bugs and it's all about insects and I'm really looking forward to learning more. They walk, crawl, swim, and fly all over the world. There are more of them than any other kind of animal on earth. And they have been around for over 350 million years. What are they? Hint, turn the page to find out. You probably call them bugs, but scientists call them insects. What makes an insect an insect? Well, for one thing, it has a special body. All insects have a hard shell on the outside called an exoskeleton. The shell protects the little insect just like metal armor protects a knight. We have an earwig, a ladybug, a grasshopper, and an ant. An insect's body also has three parts. It has a head, a middle section called a thorax, and an abdomen. These three parts are easy to see on one insect that everybody knows, the ant. People have two legs, dogs and cats have four legs, and insects have six. Go ahead, count them. But not all insect legs are the same. Some legs are good for jumping far. Others are perfect for climbing, grabbing, running, or swimming. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a praying mantis and a grasshopper. And this part says, spiders have eight legs. They are not insects. Most insects have two or four wings, and just like legs, there are different kinds of wings. The dragonfly's big wings are perfect for flying fast and making quick turns in mid-air. But a beetle's wings are different. One pair is thick and leathery to protect the second pair of delicate flight wings. As you can see, Bugs are a lot different from you and me. And speaking of seeing, did you know that insects have two different types of eyes? An insect's simple eyes, called ocelli, can only sense light. Their larger compound eyes can see objects, animals, and their movements. A housefly's compound eyes have thousands of little parts called lenses. Each lens sees a piece of a bigger picture. What would an apple look like to a fly? Like that. What is sticking out of that bug's head? Wow. They're feelers or antennae and all insects have two of them. They help insects touch, taste, and smell the world around them. This little blurb says body parts, a hard outside shell called an exoskeleton, a head, thorax, and abdomen, six legs, usually two or four wings, sometimes simple and or compound eyes, and two antennae. Where do insects live? Everywhere. They fly through the air and walk on the ground. They dig in the dirt and hide under rocks. They climb through the trees and swim in the water. Some insects even live in your house. This is a harlequin bug with eggs. Those are its eggs. We see a water strider, a common stonefly, 
a damsel fly, and an orange stone fly. Some insects drink blood from other animals like you and me. Ouch! That reminds me of a mosquito. Other insects, like the cockroach and the fly, eat garbage, animal waste, and other dead things. Blech. But they recycle garbage to keep the earth clean. We have a fly, a cockroach, a mosquito. The little silver fish likes to eat paper. Keep him away from this book. Where bugs eat? Plants? Other insects, blood, wood, and paper, garbage, animal waste, and other dead things. How do insects talk to each other? Well, ants communicate through smells. They use odor to warn their nest mates of danger and to lead them to food. Other insects send messages with movements. When a bee finds food, it will do a little dance in the nest to tell the other bees it's time to eat. Many insects communicate with sounds. Male field crickets chirp by rubbing their wings together to attract a female cricket. Fireflies find each other with flashes of light. How do insects protect themselves? Wasps use poison stings to fight off predators. Other insects wear special armor. A few insects, like the stink bug, spray stinky liquid at their enemies. They are the skunks of the insect world. Many insects have colors that blend in with the places they live. Hi, Ruby. This is called camouflage. Can you find the insects that color? That color helps hide on this page? Well, I see a goldsmith beetle. It's the same color as the dirt. I see a wasp. I see a stink bug here that's the same color as this leaf. A giant walking stick bug. Those are pretty cool. And some scarlet and green leaf hoppers. does an insect grow up? All insects hatch from eggs. As they grow, they get bigger and begin to look more like their parents, just like you. Here's an egg. Here's a larva. The change that insects go through from egg to adult is called metamorphosis. That's a big word that means changes shape. Metamorphosis go from egg to larva, which is a caterpillar, to pupa, which is chrysalis, to an adult. There are different kinds of metamorphosis. Some insects change by just growing bigger. Others grow wings. But there are some insects, such as butterflies, that change so much that the adult looks nothing like the youth. wish we were in the classroom, we would be experimenting with this life cycle right now. I bet you didn't know these facts. Flies can taste with their feet. When in flight, a mosquito beats its wings 300 times in a single second. The water strider can actually walk on water. A flea can jump over 200 times its own length. One ladybug can lay up to 1,500 eggs in her lifetime. Cockroaches are so smart that they have learned to run mazes in laboratories. This giant water bug has been known to eat tadpoles and small fish. Whoa, a bug eating a fish? Seems like it's usually the other way around. A dragonfly can fly as fast as 30 miles per hour. That's as fast as our cars, guys. Some beehives have up to 50,000 bees. A cricket can hear with its legs. This 
this little blurb says, Insects are amazing, but do you know what my favorite thing about them is? Hint, turn the page to find out. They're small! <laughs> Me too. I'd be scared if they were big. Alright guys, we just learned a lot about insects. So in addition to labeling the body parts of the insect that I've attached to this activity, which you'll see when you click add response, I also want you to start an insect fact journal. We are going to be learning about insects and specifically one type of insect a lot over the next couple of weeks and I think it would be a good idea to keep all of the information that you've learned all in one place. So just like we started our seed journal last week and you wrote in it every day, you're going to start an insect fact journal and you're going to write in it every single day about all of the things that we've learned from these books that we're reading. We're going to start doing some more research on your own next week as well. So we have a lot to look forward to. I love you and I miss you. Bye!